All right, today we're going to be working on a 2022 Ford Escape wiring for the trailer. Now it's pretty straightforward. We need to access the wiring that goes to the existing tail lights. So first, take out your cargo mat and um, which goes right there and your storage unit on the sides of the spare tire pull that little plug out to get those out and uh, we're going to pull these side panels off and you literally just kind of stick your hands back there and pop them off they they come right off fairly easy it's going to give us access to the uh the plug-ins or it'll hook up the harness and uh, the bottom of the panel there you might need to use a flat disc screwdriver to pop that out. It kind of helped me, so I used it. So I'll pull it out, but not too far, not all the way. This is a cigarette lighter there, so kind of be mindful of that. Um, so yeah, pull it out just far enough. Like I said, we're getting to the wiring that goes to the head, the tail lights. Excuse me. There's like a uh, plug connector. We want to disconnect that plug so we can splice in our um, harness or just plug in our really splice but there's the driver side as you can see that unplugs from each other like so and we're going to plug in our adapter <coughs> which of course I'll put in the description and I'll show that here in a second as well let's see so here's one side of the um, trailer lighting adapter this is if your car doesn't already have trailer hookups and there's the other side and of course you have like basically power to you're needing power 12 volts from your battery but I'm going to do something different this um, tutorial which I feel was much better of an idea um, I'm actually going to plug up to that cigarette lighter if you have one. I'm going to be using this here. We're at the black wire with the fuse. Um, with a cigarette lighter on Look at that. So this is actually going to power the, the trailer lights, which is only a few amps. So it should be sufficient. So I plugged in that one side. As you can see, I got the wires ran out. And then I'm going to do the other side that connector is right there a little bit tucked higher so yeah you just literally take it apart and then you plug each side of your um adapter it's really straightforward you can't get it mis mixed up so all you have left is the power so the power i want like i said i'm going to use this here little adapter and we're going to be using some sleeves these are insulated sleeves aluminum and they get crimped on so get your wires stripped at the appropriate length about uh, three quarters of an inch half inch i use wire strippers but you can use pretty much any type of pliers to smash so those crimp on connectors on and um let me show you just like that smash them on there on the metal there's metal inside that uh, insulated sleeve which allows you to connect two wires in line with each other and I'm actually going to do am I going to do black to black no I don't think I end up doing black to black I think I end up doing black to white and red to black yeah because I use my um, voltmeter to do a continuity test yeah so do the black to white and do the uh, red to black if you buy this exact same one I'm going to put both of these in the description the power adapter as well as the um, trailer light harness so once you got those crimped on <clears throat> it comes with a 30 amp fuse you can put maybe a 5 amp fuse in there if you like <laughs> depending on the fuse size of the actual cigarette lighter I, I need to check that it's likely 5 or 10 it could be more <laughs> but like I said those trailer lights don't pull much uh, amperage anyway so you'll be fine either way so as you can see I got my wiring tucked in the storage there 
and uh, I'm actually going to um, not run the trailer plug-in through the vehicle the base of the car and I'll show you here in a minute here I'm just going to cover it all back up it's going to be nice and tucked away and coil that up there and of course that plugs into your trailer I'm going to leave that tucked in the corner and you could you know make the wires a little bit neater down there but I think it's fine just like that that way when I get ready to sell the car I can just pull it out really easy I forgot to show you about this piece here this piece should is the first thing you actually take off after you pull your cargo mat out with uh, two screws holding some D hooks and then uh, two more screws on the side there's the D hooks on top those are the screws here for the D hooks the D yeah and the ones with the washers are the ones um, on the side of that uh, plastic panel there's a torque hit and that is just a hex hit those on the side the ones with the washers and uh, yeah so that plastic piece goes back in you can use your drill if you like I used a drill and it worked out handy and uh, you need a drill tip to get those in there if you're using the drill okay get that plastic piece back on there and uh, as you can see I got my lights blinking so you can see everything still works even though without even power see so even if you don't have it plugged up your lights work as normal my hazards are on and I'm gonna dangle out that trailer hookup just like that so when I'm driving the trailer and uh, the wires can be totally safe because there's plenty of cushion right there that way I can pull out as much as I need hook up to the trailer and then coil it back up when I don't need it that way I don't have to run through the uh, through the bottom of the car and out to the outside right. so, say you from having to drill or punch a hole at the bottom even though there's a little grommet and a space for it I'm, I'm going to reserve that for something else so. okay so yeah why do folks do this? I think it's I think it's reasonable, right? And yeah, it also it's hard to get to. As you can see that heat shielding in the way. I'm like, I don't want to dabble with that. So the method I chose was much better. I felt. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I can't even see it, so I'm not even going to mess with it. <laughs> That's heat shielding there. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, you're gonna have this is gonna be extra because usually that ran all the way to the battery. But remember, we plug it up to the cigarette lighter, so that's extra wiring that comes with it. And uh, let me show you the um, package here. The brand custom wiring harness. I'll put the link in the description. It's pretty straightforward. Make sure that fits your trailer right there. The four-way flat output. Your may be the uh, round type. So, Make sure that's compatible with your trailer. Like I said, the lights work with uh, power. This is the SE model and a Ford Escape. It did not come with a, a trailer hitch nor obviously wiring. So, but it's possible to add it to this SE base model. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know how it works out for you guys.